Dear learner, welcome to this lesson. This is uh, our very first lesson from East Africa Model Academy, where Africa's techno future begins. Today, we are starting with uh, agriculture, grade five. And I want to welcome you to this lesson. The first topic we're looking at today is conserving our environment conserving environment and under that we look at the substrate soil conservation and uh, more specifically under soil conservation we want to talk about soil recovery uh, by the end of this lesson expect i expect you learner that you'll be able to uh, give the meaning of soil erosion you should be able to understand soil erosion when we are done with this lesson at the end of this lesson i expect that you'll be able to Give the meaning of soil recovery, identify sites for soil deposition by run of uh, water in the community. You'll be able at the end of the lesson that, uh, to collect soil from erosion deposition for farming purposes. You will also demonstrate the usefulness of recovered soil for growing of crops and you're going to show a general interest in soil conservation activities and growing of crops. Uh, you're most welcome. Let us proceed. Now, um, let's talk about soil conservation, soil recovery, and soil erosion. Soil conservation, soil recovery, and soil erosion. What is soil erosion? What do you think, Lan? What is soil erosion? What is soil conservation? What is soil recovery? Let's begin with soil conservation, to conserve soil. What is soil conservation? Soil conservation is uh, when you prevent the loss of topmost layer of soil, because sometimes uh, water, rain erodes uh, soil, especially the topmost layer of soil, Preventing that, preventing that from happening, preventing the loss of the topmost layer of soil from erosion, or uh, preventing uh, uh, reduced fertility but that's caused by overuse or acidification, etc. You are conserving soil. You are trying to stop the loss of soil from erosion. That is conserving soil. But what is uh, soil recovery? The process of trying to improve the quality of soil. When you're doing anything that will improve the quality of soil, you are recovering soil. Remember the difference between recovery and conserving. To conserve is to try to stop the loss of the topmost layer of soil. But recovering is trying to improve the quality of the soil. But what is erosion? Erosion is that that process, it's, it's natural, it's not man made, it's, 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 it's caused by nature. It's the natural process where topmost soil of a field is washed away, is carried away uh, by physical sources. It can be wind, it could be water. Wind can erode soil, water can carry away soil. It happens naturally. And uh, that's what we call soil erosion. Lana, I believe you understand the difference between conservation, recovery, and erosion. When you're conserving, you are preventing the loss of uh, the topmost layer of soil which can be caused by erosion. When you're recovering, you're just trying to improve the quality of soil, and there are different ways of doing that. When, you are, uh, when, when erosion happens, it is natural, and it means the topmost soil of a field is carried away by water, by wind, all right? Now, I'd like you, Lana, to pause this video and uh, make a tour of your area where you live, or your school area, your home area, Try to find, maybe with the help of your parent, your guardian, your friend, your teacher, your classmate, uh, try to identify places where uh, uh, erosion has taken place. If you understand erosion, erosion is uh, topmost soil has been carried away. So walk around, pause this video, walk around where you live, check and note some of the areas where uh, soil has been eroded, places or sites where soil has been washed away by rain, by water, by wind. Uh, I'll be back with you. Welcome, Lana. I believe you have taken your tour around your school. 
your community, and you must have come across uh, different places where soil is eroded and where it is even deposited by the water. I'll be showing you some pictures. Uh, after you've seen the different places where soil has been eroded now, are you, are you able to note also areas where soil is deposited by runoff water? This soil that is washed away by wind and by water, where is it normally deposited? Why is it uh, thrown off by the wind or by the water? I would like you also, Lana, to take some time and collect soil from those areas, those deposition sites, uh, so that you, we can use this soil to recover it, which means we can collect soil that's been deposited, washed away, and put somewhere by water, by wind, and try to improve its quality and even use it for growing crops. All right. Um, I'll be very happy if you can do that. And then we will see how we can use this recovered soil to grow crops. You will do some crop growing planner. Crops of your choice at school or at home using soil. You see, this soil has been wasted, washed away. But what are we doing? We are trying to bring it back for use. That's recovery. Improve the quality and make use of it for crop growing, right? Soil erosion. This is a picture of a, a place that has been affected by soil erosion. Soil erosion. Topmost layer of soil has been washed away. This is caused by water, we say, or even wind uh, has washed away. This. Okay. Uh, sorry. That's one picture. Here's another picture. Soil has been eroded by water. Uh, you see how serious it is? That's a sloppy area, and when rain comes or floods come, they wash away the topsoil, and that's what uh, you find as a consequence or result. Now, the question is, where does this soil go? So it's important to find out, to follow up and find out where does this soil go? Where does the water deposit this? What is the deposit site of this soil that has been washed away from this area? Uh, follow up uh, in your area and see any of these features and where this all goes, and we will be doing soil recovery, improving the quality and even using it for farming. You possibly must have, must have seen this uh, if you walk around different places in your country, when you visit uh, remote areas or other parts, you are likely to see uh, the third picture there, something similar, not exactly this one, but something like this, where soil has been washed away uh, into ditches and into, into valleys and uh, because of uh, slope areas, people live in the mountain areas, and uh, this usually happens. And uh, you will understand that this can be even dangerous to housing and settlement and livelihoods. So the soil is washed away, but where does it go? Can it be recovered? Yes, it can. Large scale and small scale. Look at that. Water has dug trenches through the, through, through the soil and washed away a huge amount of soil, leaving this place uh, not so good for farming. Is there something which can be done? Yes, that's why we talk about soil recovery. So Lana, take some time around your community, see some of these features, even just near your garden. Uh, there are places where I think running water or wind has run away soil and where has the soil been deposited and can it be recovered? Yes, it can. Try to do something and recover it. That farming can, can, can small scale farming can be done. If you've done these things I've asked you, Lana, well done. You have just taken part in conserving soil from erosion. Now I'll leave you with some work to do at home. With the help of your parents and guardian and teacher, uh, I'd like you to talk about and discuss other ways in which eroded soil can be collected. Are there other ways where you can collect eroded soil and use it for farming? How else can we collect eroded soil and use it for farming? All right. Talk about that to your parent, your guardian and teacher, your friend, your big brother, big sister. And then also, just to check if you understood the lesson, uh, question, why do we conserve soil from erosion? Why should we conserve soil from erosion? Talk about that. Why should we conserve soil? Remember conserving? Yeah? Conserving? Why should we conserve soil? Then what is the importance of recovering eroded soil? Uh, so just talk about that, soil conservation, soil recovery, all right? Good. Thank you. End of lesson. See you next time.